so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The love of God is Jesus Christ. The wrath of God is hell. And all is not well because there is a hell and there is no party in it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible does speak about an afterlife. Hell is nothing to laugh at. Hell, the Bible describes as a time of torments, forever, no relief. There's no partying, there's no booze, there's no fun. When you forsake Jesus Christ and you choose the wrath of God that abideth forever. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Satisfaction is not what you can do. It's not what you are. It's what the finished work of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Death is sure. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. It's the glory of God through Jesus Christ that you might believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. It's the glory of God to finish work by Jesus Christ, the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. The wages of sin is death for all sinners because the Bible says for all have sin. And you're not going to get to heaven on good intentions. You're not going to get to heaven because you're American. You're not going to get to heaven because you're a biker. You're going to get to heaven by the finished work of Jesus Christ upon Calvary's cross. Precious is the blood. Precious is the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Satisfaction is what Jesus Christ has done for you. The wrath of God is what you want to do for you. The wrath of God is when you choose to reject Jesus Christ. When you choose to reject what, Je what God has offered you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's not a works. At least any man boasts. When we get the glory of be glorifying Jesus Christ above all, and none else, hell is a departure from God. Hell is a departure of mercy and grace. Realize every time you get on that motorcycle, you had the grace of God. You have the mercy of God not being flat and on the basis. Yeah. The long suffering of God is that he sends for preachers that you might believe. That you might believe on the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Salvation is not, oh, I'm a good person. The Bible says there is no good. There is none that doeth good. There is none righteous. No, not one. So if you're not good enough, you're not righteous enough. You need the finished work of Jesus Christ to be saved. And that salvation is wrought through Jesus Christ alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, or ride through the valley of the shadow of death, Without Jesus Christ, you will fear God one day. But the fear of God is knowledge. It's the beginning of knowledge to know that Jesus is able to save your soul. It's to believe that you can't do nothing to please God. It has already been done by God. Salvation.
is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ. How would you like to spend all eternity in darkness without mercy, without grace? How about a place with no love? That's hell. Imagine the worst bike wreck you can get into and no morphine, no drugs, no alcohol, no fun. As you burn in torments by the wrath of God because you will not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That life is in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The religion ain't going to do it. Being American ain't going to do it. You're not going to fix America without God in the Bible and Jesus Christ. Forget about it. And America has taken the Bible of Jesus Christ and God and kicked them out. You can bring God, Jesus Christ, and the Bible into your life by putting your faith and belief upon Jesus. The one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's the one that's able to, to save your soul. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That's Jesus Christ and you are a sinner. You don't have to be a good sinner, you don't have to be a bad sinner. You have to be classified as a sinner and all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Salvation can be only wrought by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. No other. And you will die and enter into hell without Jesus Christ. You'll be without mercy, without grace, without God. Without friendship. Darkness, no mercy. But God long suffering. He's not willing that any should perish, but that if you were to put your faith upon Jesus Christ. Salvation comes that of God through Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. Anybody can get saved. Just put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Not a religion. Not in, oh, there is no God. You atheists, the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. Just because you don't believe in a God does not make it so. And that God is willing that you come to Him and repent and get right. The woman the lust after in his heart has already committed adultery. You don't have to slap into a bed a woman to be committed adultery in the eyes of God. And in sin, without Jesus Christ, you will be cast off into hell forever. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All need Jesus Christ to be saved. There is no other way. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's that plain and simple. And if you reject Jesus Christ, God will reject you. Imagine Jesus Christ telling you one day to go off into hell forever. It won't be a just go to hell, it'll be go into the lake of fire that burneth forever. There's no friendship in hell. There's no mercy or grace in hell. That mercy and grace and long suffering right now is God said, go to all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's a lot better than having Jesus tell you, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Save his only begotten Son. 
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Death is coming. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You're not going to escape death. And you're the only way you can escape hell is by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Any other way is to fast trip into hell. And the Bible speaks about eternal life. Eternal life through Jesus Christ into heaven. Or eternal life in hell without Jesus Christ. You can pick whatever you want to go to hell. But to go to heaven, you must choose on the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Satisfaction of God is the suffering and the death of Jesus according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You deny Jesus Christ and God will deny you forever. Forever is the eternity. There will be no mercy. There will be no grace. Except by Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. One day death will come. What will God say to you today? you faced him without Jesus. He will say to you, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. It's by the precious blood of the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Forever. Forever for all eternity. Without Jesus Christ, it is hell. It is the lake of fire that burneth. And burneth forever. The wages of sin is death. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Without the Lamb, it will be hell. Without God's sacrifice of Jesus Christ the Gospel, that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the Scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture, it will be the lake of fire that burneth forever. Inside hell you'll be tormented forever. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. Without Jesus Christ, God will reject you. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There are none righteous. There is none righteous. Salvation to get to heaven is by the one Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So definitely, for to have hope, is to have hope in the blessed hope of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Can you imagine a holy God telling you to go to hell and you ain't coming out? You get into hell, you're not coming out. To get out of hell is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever should not perish. It's of God's mercy that preachers preach the gospel. It is your mercy to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, to save your soul. Death is coming. The wages of sin is death. 
and you are not going to escape death and go up to heaven without Jesus Christ. And in heaven, glorification of the Son. Mercy, grace, brand new body. In hell, you burn forever. And there is a hell just because you choose not to believe. You choose not to believe in a God. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. The Bible says the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. And the Bible proclaims that there is a God, there is a Jesus Christ, there is the blessed hope, not by you rejecting. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The precious gospel that God says go to the world and preach is that that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That everlasting life is in the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. What shall a man give for exchange for his soul? What could possibly you offer God that he may not cast you off into hell? There's nothing you can offer God. But one thing, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the only payment God will receive for your soul. The precious blood of Jesus Christ without spot, sinless. What are you going to do? Offer God money? He's the one that made us money. He's the one that made the gold and silver. He's the one that made you. And he's long-suffering, willing that you should come to him and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That's the salvation. That he gave his only begotten son. That you may have eternal life. And that eternal life to rest upon Jesus Christ alone. It's not of works, least any man boasts. Salvation by God is of grace. It's of faith in Jesus Christ. And only Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death. You're going to die, so you are a sinner. Sinners die. Sinners will face God. But sinners that put their faith in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, will, be, will die and be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Sinners who die without Jesus Christ will die and wake up in hell forever.